Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Eric. So the question is that should you start building an app with Java or C++? If you don't know, these are the big giant language in the world, C++ or Java. Let's put things in context. The world most jobs are in Java. Again, I'm repeating the world most jobs are in, in Java, but the world best paying jobs are in C++. And second, it depends on your geographic. Where do you live in the world? I mean, if you li live in the United States, then most probably Java is the best bet. If you live in Asia, like South Korea, then C++. C++, I mean, are in huge demand. If you live in Pakistan, I, I will say again Java. If you live in India, Java. It depends. I mean, C++ or Java, they are, I mean, massive giant language but both of them have drawbacks i mean c++ is more stable and more faster than java there is no argument i'm not a fan of c++ i never program in c++ i'm a pro java hardcore fan my wife she had done her two master one in computer engineering second in geographical information system she had developed an application in c++ she's basically a pro in c++ we always have a fight i mean on a programming language she always Praise C++, I said Java, Java, Java. The best thing I like about Java is that uh, there is no need to manage the memory. My wife, oh my god, I remember some days my wife, all I mean, night she's just working on the C++, I mean, language to do the memory management. There's so much memory leak. If you have developed an application, you have to utilize even one megabyte very carefully. There shouldn't be memory leak. A lot of applications developed in C++ have memory leaks. So you'll be thinking, Jimmy, why there is so many C++ developer? Why is every application built on C++ due to the stability and more secure compared to Java? Yes, Java is secure, but Java is not a native language. Again, I'm saying Java can run on Mac, even it can run on Windows, Linux. Even now, the PS4 operating system is using Java. If you have bought the PS4, just look in the back at the bottom of it. They say Java. Yes, PS4 is powered by Java, not C++. I mean Java is really I mean it's a cr cross platform but the C++ is a native language I mean Windows is built in C++ so if you build any application in C++ it will just run like basically awesome compared to Java nowadays even a new argument should you build application I mean if you are building a cr cross platform application should you build in Java Python yes now even you can build application desktop native application in python it's all depend even even after a window 8 and 8.1 launch you can build application in javascript html and css3 even there's a microsoft certification called mcsd microsoft certified solution developer building window apps i mean window apps the metro user interface window app store you can build apps using c, uh, c sharp or the uh, javascript there's so many options but the two major giants still remain java i mean due to the security reliability and c++ basically java was a built a real competitor to c and c++ java was built to run on refrigerator on your washing machine if you don't know what the hell i'm talking back in 90s we are talking about a future deck our refrigerator will be have some kind of smart device in it it will be the internet of things yes today's becoming true java was built to run on a bad system microcontroller i mean at that context really java fail i mean adreno run c plus plus raspberry pi run python not much of the microcontroller or robots run java but ps4 is running java and then the upcoming smart car are running java that is a good point yes java is the future according to me basically you can say playstation 4 is running java it, it was um, unimaginable i mean you can build the whole operating system basically in java for a playstation and for a video game console plus your vehicle is gonna run java uh, the main problem will, uh, with java is that there's already some dex operating system developed in java they fail due to the talk with the cpu due to the assembly language due to binary code i don't want to go into a technical detail java interpret their stuff differently basically it's auto manage sometimes you need a manual to manage the memory java utterly dumb the memory to manage by itself java is smart i mean most of the time i really love this feature of java it basically you don't have to spend basically if not uh, if, if not days hours just managing the memory java manage the memory by itself 
but sometimes you need manual memory mem you need to allocate by manually for example 512 kilobyte or 1 megabyte or like that that can only be done in c plus from my personal bet is that go with java if you want to really i mean learn quick you wanna do the android development learn java if you wanna go build web application enterprise level web application learn java yes you can build application php but if you wanna build some kind of banking or security payment application learn java i mean every job in the world i mean for an enterprise are required java i mean nobody I, I even build application c sharp i mean yeah only microsoft or microsoft who really are hardcore fan they build using dotnet c sharp i mean dotnet framework but most of the enterprise every banking every big ass institute use java to build uh, and then every normal like a uh, quickbooks or i i don't know quickbooks is, is built in php or not like facebook is built in php facebook is not an enterprise uh, a basically solution so Facebook don't need that kind of security. Even Facebook is hack not a big deal. If an enterprise banking system is hacked, I mean billions of dollars can immediately vanish from the account. It depends. I mean if you are not, if you are learn the Android development, build some kind of Android game, learn Java. If you want to uh, become a really high paying web developer using a JSP, JSP is again is a framework. How I will say library of Java, Java server page basically which is used from the java i mean my personal bet learn java if you want to basically get into what it is but remember one thing most of the jobs required for java ex excluding android developer require a, a, a associate degree or a bachelor degree i mean most of the time if you want to learn java you want to become a java developer you will be working in an enterprise where they require you to have some kind of degree just to pass the evil 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 hr department Human resources department is an evil department. I really do not have any mercy for them. Even they die, even they burn to death. To be honest with you, I really do not have any mercy for HR department, human resources department. They are a dumb ass department. They really do not know what to hire. They really do not know what to fire. I mean, they are really dumb ass. I have seen so good talent in my life. Them. They didn't have a degree, but they actually learned developer like Android developer. They even couldn't pass the HR department. They sent their resume. HR just look, oh, this stupid dumbass don't have resume. Throw his, I mean, resume in that trash. I mean, basically, this dumbass don't have his uh, bachelor degree or social degree. Just, I mean, throw his resume. Even he can't pass the first interview phase. I really hate HR department. With passion, HR department should be really vanished. They, I mean, they should be eliminated. HR department are the job. I mean, the people working in the human resources department are the worst people in the world. They really do not do, do any work. Most of the time, they are on the Facebook doing nothing. Basically, not every day you are hiring people. So most of the time, you have nothing to do. When you are hiring people, even you can't do your real job. HR department are the evil people. I mean, just try to if, if you. A really excellent developer at your field or uh, program and just try to get on a hold of CE or some kind of tech people which he can help you rather than just passing your resume for example you want to get to the enterprise the HR department will never ever let you in unless you have a degree to be honest with you that is a reality so if you become a Java master but you don't have a degree I mean they will not let you in unless i mean you try to get some contact again i will say try to make a link in account meet up try to try to send some kind of messages to the ceo and then try to tell him that you're excellent at what i mean what kind of field you excellent and then if he's if the ceo say screw hr i want these people i i want this developer to hire and then the hr basically can't do anything anyways again i will say we are starting to program with java i will include the link of edx i mean you can start with this course to learn java again it depends if you wanna build some kind of application if you are working on a computer vision if you are building some kind of geographical information system application if you are building some kind of pizza delivery application i mean for example if you are building an application that a pizza delivery guy which route is the faster to deliver the pizza how long it will take or some kind of day if you are building some kind of even even c plus plus can build his programming language can be used in a fighter jet if you don't know pakistan uh, domestically built fighter jet called jf-1700 jf-1700 just google it or i will include a wikipedia link in pakistan i mean most of this military equipment military fighter jet use a priority language i mean i forgot the language name which they use is some kind of i really don't it, it's kind of usa defense 
a special programming language not anybody can learn firstly uh, I, I mean it's a top secret language with the program so basic so basically Pakistan really do not have a, I mean enough developer who have enough knowledge of that secret language I really couldn't uh, remember it, its name so I mean Pakistan was in uh, Pakistan Air Force was in really big trouble I mean they have started this project but now they build everything now they have to program the system um, the system basically is called system engineering now they need to program the system they can't find I mean enough developers so they say let's go with C++ the people say it's impossible you can't program a fighter jet in C++ anyone can hack it's not secret I mean a fighter jet how the hell you could go into programming C++ and, and at top I mean you need to run billions lines of code Pakistan say yes we will we are have we already have so many C++ developers unemployed in Pakistan too so they start hiring and then they write all the programming code in C++ I mean it, it is really uh, impossible and then they had make it done now GF7300 I mean might be more than three four years uh, they are, I mean, they have already done so many successful uh, for, for flight. Even even the GF-70 Thunder is already operational. Not a single bug happened. Not a single bug happened. Not a single security loophole happened. I mean, C++ even can program a fighter jet. Even it can program nuclear bomb. Again, I'm not kidding. C++ power is that Java can never even think of. But it depends what the hell you want. If you want to go into defense, if you want to go into military, if you want to build some kind of application, if you want to build some kind of medical system. I mean, most of the time, computer engineering is about hardware. Computer science is about the uh, making stuff fast, computing. And then the system engineering is or software engineering. System engineering, software engineering are similar. Most of the people get confused. System engineering and and then the software engineering are about how an operating system will learn. Like the PlayStation 4 was built by computer engineer, and then after that it was basically programmed by software engineer or system engineer the operating system. PlayStation 4 do you got what I mean. So it depends. My personal but go with Java. It's easier to learn. You will not have to really worry about the memory. But if you really want to get into some kind of application, you will have some passion to develop some kind of application. Like I mean, the blind people can't see. You make some kind of glasses they wear, and then you have to develop the application in C++. It depends. Again, I will say Java, C++. But if according to you, my personal but go with Java. If you have any questions, just leave in the question box below. It's me, Jimmy. Bye bye.